What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. And I'm back with the recap for Arthur Bender Biev. He just fought in his second home. He's originally from Russia, but his, his second home, his adopted home, just like Lucian Butte, is Canada. And he just fought tonight, went under the radar. A lot of people weren't checking for the fight. Wasn't against a big name. He keeps his knockout streak going, and now he's 11-0. He's on his Anthony Joshua, meaning, even though he's not a champion, every single one of his fights so far have ended in knockouts. Now, I've been checking for Arter Better Bia for a while. I watched the Tavores Cloud fight, disgusting. His fight with Campillo, and I thought Campillo beat Tavores Cloud. I gotta watch it again, but at the time, back then, I thought Tavores Cloud kinda got gifted a... Um, a win in that particular fight and better be have just ran through guys like that now his opponent is from argentina or was from argentina isidro prieto and he had never been stopped before his record was 26 1 and 3 and better be have went out there and just destroyed him one round brutal knockout is, is definitely a highlight reel knockout and I posted this on my Instagram. When you see people falling all over the place, you could tell, like, I don't know about other people. I could tell who has power, like, not just with their record shows and stuff. I'm talking about by body language. When certain people get hit with certain shit and they're just drunk and legs all over the place. And you know what I mean? These are equal sized grown men. It's apparent they have power. So I've been checking for better B of for quite some time. He looks like to be the goods. And the interesting thing about this, with this win, this lined him up for the Kovalev Ward 2 winner. They're saying that he's the mandatory for the winner of that particular fight. Now, there is some gray area as far as that fight. Kovalev has been on this crusade, kind of calling uh, Andre Ward SOJ, son of judges, kind of doing some trash talk, building up the fight, not happy with the decision and the first career loss. And Ward is kind of like, get over it. It was a tight fight, close fight, deal with it. And... I don't know. He's also, I guess, said something about retirement, Ward has, so we don't know what's going to happen, but they're saying that better be of is in line. So the light heavyweight division is alive and, and well. Me personally, I clearly want to see the Kovalev Ward 2 winner, but I think for in the meantime, which is it's a big if, you don't know, I would want to see better be of in there with another top light heavyweight. Guys that come to mind, Sullivan Barrera is off a really good win. I would say him. A guy like a leader Alvarez, Adonis Stevenson, he's a champion, but something like that. Joe Smith Jr. There's a lot of quality light heavyweights right now. And I personally would want to see that. Just in this really for better be of his benefit. Again, he looks like the goods, but he hasn't fought at a top level in the pros. Like, you know what I'm saying? He hasn't fought nobody who's on a tear or undefeated top names at light heavyweight but so far so good he's definitely passing the eye test it is just really a matter of uh time to determine if he steps up how is he going to look you know what i mean because some guys don't look the same even the guy that fought isaac chalimba the i think he's from ukraine also he's pretty tall a fight like that something like that just to show where he's really at i mean Again, he's passing the eye test, and I, I believe in better be of He's diesel. He just looks is a threatening style. So I think he, he could do really good as a pro. He has an amateur win over Kovalev. I talked to Kovalev personally at a roundtable, and I actually asked him about the better be of fight, and he believes that he was robbed on the scorecard. But I guess it was a close fight. I'd really like to see the tape of that. But better be is doing his thing. He's uh, He has a pack with Al Heyman. Al Heyman's keeping him pretty busy, and it's about time to step up. He fought two times this year, two times last year, and he fought like four times in 2014. So it's about time. These other, the Prietos and Modernas and all these guys, Campillo, they're not on his level, clearly, because they're getting stretched in, in brutal fashion. So I want to see the next person, if it's not Ward or Kovalev, I want to see uh, him and better be of in with tougher competition just so we could really gauge him but so far so good he's looking good he's paused and he's um he remains undefeated 11 and 0 and he, he's doing what this is if you look at it like look at top guys who had amateur careers and stuff like that Vasil Lomachenko is probably an exception because he, he went for a title in his second fight but guys like Guillermo Rigondeaux guys who were like 30 plus but had a, a deep amateur pedigree they usually start 
going for a title around this time. I think when Rigondeaux fought Donaire, I believe that was his 13th fight. And I think he probably would have fought Donaire a little bit sooner, but I think Donaire was kind of, oh, Rigondeaux isn't proving anything. He's a runner. Like, I don't think Donaire really wanted to fight him at first. You know what I mean? He kind of, he just kept winning. They both kept winning. So it just, it was inevitable. But this is right around the time for a guy who's 31 years old, amateur background, looks to pass the eye test. This is where he starts up in the ante and up in the competition, in my opinion. About, you know what I mean? He's in double digit wins, all knockout. So we'll see if he can keep that knockout streak with a little, someone a little bit tougher, a little bit more game, bigger name, things like that. No losses. Drop in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Also, better be if possibly facing the winner of Kovalev Ward. That would be a hell of a fight. Not necessarily for boxing fans, because I don't think better be if his name is up there, but shit. If you if you're a boxing fan and you know who these people are pff, that's a good fight it's a tough fight because it'd be either a Kovalev rematch from the amateurs or it'd be Andre Ward who's new to the division and we've seen the monstrous power and the style of better be of so it, it's light heavyweights cracking like I said I mean even the Joe Smith jr. would be a good fight see that's what I'm talking about because like Joe Smith jr. Clearly, he I've seen some deficiencies, but he's getting the job done. You know what I'm saying? He beat from far. He beat Bernard Hopkins. And he to me, it's clear that that Joe Smith Jr., even though he's not the most technical, he has heart and he has power. You can't really deny those things. So I would like to see that, how better be his chin is, how he takes a shot from a monstrous puncher if they connect. You know what I'm saying? Or if they can even get their shots off. Let me know what you guys think. Shout out to Arthur Better Beev. He's been on a tear and he's doing what he should be doing. Staying busy and knocking out people in fashion. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hey, comment and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.